Introducing first and to my left in the blue corner, this man is a kickboxer. Weighing in officially at 146 pounds, he stands 5 feet 11 inches. He fights out of the Circle City, Indianapolis, Indiana, representing Team Four Corners. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jacob Clark. His opponent is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu expert, also skilled in Noguchi Muay Thai. He weighed in at 145 pounds. He represents American top team fighting out of West Palm Beach, Florida, with a record of 10 wins, two losses. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Marcos Pajompinha de Mata. Gentlemen, you got the rules earlier in the dressing room. Are there any questions? Follow my instructions at all times. Protect yourselves at all times, guys. And if I tell you to stop, stop immediately. You guys understand? Touch them if you want to. Step back. This is our main event of the evening, and it is at the weight of 145 pounds, the featherweight division. Jacob Clark in the black right. and yellow trunks. Marcos Damata in the red and black. Here we go. Here we go. Clark has good hands, good solid stand up. Oh! oh. But he's not, not going to have, yeah. have a chance to stand up against Marcos. He's in, he's in trouble early here with a takedown in the first 10 seconds, five oh. seconds maybe. Marcos making himself heavy, trying to free up that right leg. In, in half, looking to pass the full. Softening up the side of Jacob Clark. Clark has his underhook, which is a good thing for him. He can try to bump and get a little further underneath um, Damata's hips. Be able to get out of here. Not looking good right now. Damata, the WFO featherweight champion, the ISKA bantamweight champion, 10 and 2 as a pro, and has trained some of the most elite fighters that you've ever seen down there at American Top Team. And is a beloved uh, person here in South Florida. Miami, Lauderdale, West Palm, they all love Parumpa. 41 years old. How much longer, Mike Brown, will Perumpa be hopping He's just starting. He's just starting. <laughs> just, just getting started just at getting 41 started. years old. Mm -hmm. He's taking his time, being very patient. Softening up Clark. Looking, looking to pass that knee. Trying to move to, to mount or, or maybe to side control. Clark does have some American top team experience as well as some Jackson affiliate experience out of uh, Team Four Corners. Yeah. He does hold a win over Junie Browning, U UFC uh, fighter, infamous fighter, and uh, lost to Wagner Rocha. So he has uh, some top-notch competition for sure under his belt. Oh, well, he might be in trouble now. Marco's going for a, a, uh, a shoulder choke here. He's got that arm trapped. Not a good position for Clark. If he can get that knee through, which he seems to be doing, it's one of his signature submission holds as well. Yeah, good defense there by Clark, yeah, composing did. the closed guard. Yep, yep, very good. As you said, Clark has been in there with some top-notch competition. He has. He Actually did. started his career at 7-0. Wow. At one point, so he was doing well. Uh, Marco's just smothering him right now, giving him no space. Not at all. Move. Now moves on to side control. You can see Clark trying to recompose by hooking the right leg of Parampa. But Parampa frees up that right leg, and now Marco's back in dominant position here. Marco's is like a boa constrictor, <laughs> always squeezing, holding. Very tough to get away from. Clark doing a good job of getting that underhook there. I, mean, I like that. You know, I, I, good positioning. Oh, softening up those ribs, digging in deep, trying to knock them in. Ooh, that was the hammer that fist was loud. to the ribs. Yeah, that, yeah, that really allowed him to get back on. He's got to be back. careful of the arm Oh, here. look at that. Oh, excellent, excellent Omoplata series. Yeah, and back to the feet. Great transitions. I um, hope the crowd appreciates that. Great, yeah. Looking for an inside trip there. Misses that to the cage. Yeah, Marcos is really known for his, his uh, Oma Plata series. 
has a lot of weapons there. There he used it to uh, sweep and get away. Back to his feet now, hits a, it looked like maybe an inside trip. Good position here. Needs to posture up and, and uh, deliver some, some blows. Yeah, he has Clark piled up against the cage looking to take advantage of this position. Not too many places for Clark to go here. Clark going for the ankle. Clark is a gamer, Mike Brown. Yes, he's, he is. Yes, he he's is. He's giving Marcos he's, all yeah. he can handle here. He's, uh, he's staying alive. I'll give him that. Staying alive. Parampino uh, acting like he may be going back for a leg lock and then firing off the right hand. Nice technique. Ten seconds to go in the round, and great job there by... Jacob Clark, Clark like you said, he round. stayed alive. Staying alive, yes he is. Taking Perump into the second round is an accomplishment in and of itself. Last round. Last round. Fight! In a touch of respect here in the third round. In the main event, Damata closes the, the gap quickly in the clinch. That's where he wants to be. Clark accepting that. Not where he wants to be. He really needs to break free and try to... Use his height and long reach. No question. Get in the center, yeah. Absolutely. He's in, in Marcus's world here. Yeah. Why would you clean. clinch with him? He should be dancing. I'm not trying to utilize his jab and height. Oh, oh nice, nice uppercut. uppercut. Oh, beautiful. Um, Demata goes for inside trip. Clock lateral drop. And now a reversal by Pumpa. Good, good exchange of techniques there. And here goes Damata back with a with a pass. Drops his hip heavy in half and about to go to side. Yes, indeed he does. Even when Clark gets a good move and gets a reversal, it only lasts two seconds. Yeah, it was nice. It was nice technique. Uh, Marcus hit a beautiful inside trip, and he, and he hit a ladder off that. D did Clark? Uh, nice exchange there, but. Uh, same result as earlier. Ooh, nice heavy elbows there from Damata. Yeah, Clark didn't like it, boy. No, he's trying to he's, turtle up. Yeah, got to watch the Kimura. Watch the Kimura here. Got to watch the feet on the cage. Some guys, sometimes guys get some awkward leverage. On the, on the cage and can uh, bridge, give a strong bridge and roll. Oh, Marcos looking for a triangle choke here from the mount. Beautiful. Wow. I think he might have it. Or, or, or close to having it. You can see he's grabbed his own ankle. Oh, looking for maybe Omoplata, looking for triangle. Attacking a few things here. There he has the triangle, loose triangle. Tap, tap. Jacob Clark in the third round. I didn't even see exactly what he had there. Couldn't tell from our angle. Marcos Tomata. Was it the arm or was he choking him? A very game Jacob Clark has nothing to hang his head about, Mike Brown. He took Marcos Tomata into the third round and made him really work for that submission. Yeah, he, he gave the fans a, a bit of a fight to watch. Nah. Stretch the evening out a little bit. Oh, we don't have a lot of time left here. We're going to go really fast, Mike Brown. Uh, let's pick a favorite fight each. Who do you, who, what was your favorite fight of the night? I'm going to go with Marcos Damata. Went to the third round. The only fight we saw go go the three three rounds. Got the third round submission, so we saw a little bit of everything. Uh, got got the, the, the whole fight, but also the finish. Got to love Parampa. I'm going to go with Mitchell Quinones, the big head kick, big knockout. You knew I was going with that. I love my knockouts. For the champ, Mike Brown, I'm Jay Adam Singh. We'll see you next time on the United Fight Alliance Network.